1979. Cool kids never have the time. On a live wire, Adrian Elmore, Thomas Carroll, and Peter North, and John. A rich handy man. EJ and Mom and 94 G T Angel Cologne Jess Pyro and one fish no fish Brian Hume Jess Sammy All right um what's going on people I was gonna do this down in the little workshop there down there in the garage but man beautiful night it's a beautiful night here in the beautiful state of new jersey just gorgeous what's up junior i appreciate that junior man you rock adrian what's up buddy we haven't done one of these since probably february guys um yeah, so I said, what the hell? And I got a couple announcements. So, a lot of good news. So, hey, what's up, man? Oh, and Kylie, it's hot. Yeah, hey, at least you got no fires, man. Oh, Andy Van Slyke, Bronx Birdman. Yeah. How'd you know Andy Van Slyke, man? That guy's the best. What's up, Electro Welder 2002? Cool, yeah. So, anyway, all right. Let me tell you, we are cruising near that 20,000 subscriber number. Um, man, we just did 15. Just did 15 a couple weeks ago. Now we're 20. So, we're going to have some announcements coming up, but next week we're going to announce it but we got a couple big companies that are going to be involved um you know they got banners already set up for instagram um but and we yeah absolutely we're still working things out with milwaukee milwaukee will be involved so milwaukee is going to be part of the twenty thousand subscriber giveaway uh, they asked me what I would like to give away. I came up with a couple ideas. We'll see what happens. Um, what's up, Ruben? Yeah, High Ridge Handyman. 74 degrees in Cali, you son of a... We've had pretty good weather here in Jersey, to be honest with you. I mean, it gets, it's been pretty, you know, high 70s or uh, low 80s. It gets pretty chilly at night still. I mean, last night it was freezing. And I think tonight it's going to be a little nippy. We've got a little bit of a hot streak coming in, but not really hot. Like just 80s, mid-80s, low 80s. This weekend, beautiful. Yeah, how's the reception? Ruben says his screen is black. Oh, no. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Yeah, we're, we're rocking. So. Yeah. Nice to hear. So, we got Weeha, um, going to be involved also, like I said, I don't want to talk too much about that because we've got something going on. What's up, Rough Accord? And, like I said, Milwaukee is going to be part of it too. So, it's going to be a pretty nice, a, um, I think, actually very happy and very surprised of some of the, the giveaways that you guys are going to get straight from these companies so and it's awesome for me so because i don't have to ship them out which i love i heard everyone in the comment no oh that stinks what's up manuel electric it's electric boogie woogie woogie all right so let's take a look here they had a 25 percent super coupon too right here it was only good to June 7th. I slacked a little bit. 
Not that I would probably use it, but 25% um, till June 7th. That ran out, but these are at your local Harbor Freight, I'm sure, when you walk in and use your 20% valid through July 31st. Guess what? Do you do the pirates? Oh, absolutely. They got rid of a lot of good guys. They got, they got rid of Barry Bonds for crying out loud, man. What's up, Brian? Yeah, Moises is a little very underrated player. He, he was very good for a lot of years. Jerry Hoskins, what's up? Daniel. <laughs> Sid Bream. Yeah. He played with us when they stunk, and then... He, I can't, still can't believe Barry Bonds couldn't throw him out at home plate. What's up, Jonathan? Hey, Pat Clark, what's up? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I was so high. I can't believe I ran. I ran. I was, I, I wanted Egypt, man. I always root for the underdogs in these countries. And Egypt looked pretty good today, EJM. They, unfortunately, uh, they got that cheap goal against them but world cup yeah it's i'm not as into it this year ejm obviously not just because the united states ain't in it but italy isn't in it so i mean obviously i'm still gonna watch but and what's great is 2026 the world cup's gonna be right here in new jersey again yes i was a youngster well i wasn't that young but I remember in 1994 when uh, me and my buddies went. To, I think we, yeah, we watched Italy. Italy played, I don't know, like Zimbabwe or something. I don't think it was Zimbabwe. I don't know. It was, it was like Ivory Coast or something. But yeah, they made it to the finals that year, man. It was great. All right, so let's take a look. So, yeah, look this week. Big giveaway again. Right, I appreciate all you subscribers here, man. It's just like going crazy. And um, yeah, so I might even uh, see what else is. Maybe we'll get the wall. The wall. But that I can't promise. But Milwaukee, we uh, and I'm going to throw something together. So, I mean, you're going to have a lot of chances to win with this. Laugh if you want. I'm saving 20%. 20% hashtag 20% off for life. Yes, that's the thing. Whenever you want to, and if you have a scissors, or in my case, the Milwaukee pocket knife, because that's what I cut this with, the Milwaukee pocket knife, you can save 20% every time. But we're going to take a look at, and you know what's funny, and I'm sure 94 will agree with me every month is the same stuff in here i want to say 90 percent of the stuff is the same stuff there was some actually some pretty deep i'm, I'm gonna get to them to, to what i'm talking about in a second i'm kind of uncomfortable out here winning it's about winning portugal spain and mexico are in i got roots yeah all three crap countries there same old, yeah, pretty much, man. Um, all right, so these are great jack stands. Now, I got some Craftsman, I think from 94 GT Coops, the one I told me about. I can't remember, but 15 bucks for two uh, three ton jack stands that's a killer, man. Now, again, I don't know if you can use the coupon on this. 94 would know these are Pittsburgh's. I mean, guys. This is what you got to get because that is a great price for some jack stands. Um, they finally lowered the price here. Now, I don't think you can use the coupon still on this Bauer stuff. Um, to be honest with you, we did not have the. Okay. Um, but yeah, 59 bucks. I, I think usually 79 bucks. 450. Inch pounds of torque includes a 1.5 and a Hypermax rapid charger. Wow. Um, you know, they got a TV mount there. We got a electric winch. And I want to get to the jacks because 
they got some. Oh, I have these things are great. You got to get these, man. So these are they're selling these at Harbor Freight now. Uh, Grip sent me a couple of these, if you remember. And let me tell you, man, they're awesome. Um, I got one in my trailer. Just adds extra light. Um, put a couple batteries in it, man. I got one in my shed. You guys remember? Can't stack. Okay. What's up? EJ, why don't you just take a picture of the coupon? Yeah, man. That's exactly. I mean, they have them in the store. You just got to walk over to where they have these magazines. And hey, here are 20%. But um, I want to talk about the jack stands. We'll do them first, and then we'll kind of search here. I mean, it's getting dark here. But they got some new Daytonas out. Now, I am not. I don't follow Harbor Freight too much, and I don't think I've looked in the last couple catalogs. Where the hell are the Daytonas? That's right, right, right. We will find them. We will, we will. But they got some new Daytonas. Yeah, yeah. And again, like I said, I don't know how long. I don't know if they're new this month. Like I said, I haven't checked in the past couple months. But they got some new Daytonas here, man. And they're, you know, these are really the top of the line and really um, solid. You know, listen. Are they snap-ons? No. I mean, obviously, the, the huge price difference. But the Daytonas have built up a pretty good reputation. And, you know, like, some of the stuff at Harbor Freight, you know, jack stands and, you know, honestly, especially the jacks. I mean, I, I think Pittsburgh is the number one selling jack, like, in the world. Yeah, look at this. So they, they make some good stuff here uh, with the jacks. But these, they, the Daytonas were kind of their top of the line uh, jacks. And um, they got a couple different varieties now. And they got a nice low profile. I think that's 109 bucks. It's not included on this page. But, you know, you got a 5 inch to 18. I mean, I don't, I will, this one's great. But they have another low profile. It's 109. Probably doesn't do as much weight. Three ton. I mean, this is a nice jack for 129 bucks. Now, boss man, it's June 15th and I'm running for Halloween. <laughs> Good. Yes. Um. And here is um, the th low profile long reach jack. Thank you, Electric Welder 2002. Appreciate it, my brother. My brother. My brother. And here is a four-ton service jack, 179. Um, you know, great reputation with the Daytona. They're pretty good. Um, up to four tons, dual piston hydraulic system, 100% precision welded steel construction. You know, they're not too far price-wise from some of the Pittsburgh stuff. You know, 97, 87. So, you know, Pittsburgh's got... Now, I don't know if these are made by the same company. I, I don't think so. Again, that's why 94 is here. 94 is the expert on horror freight. At least on my channel, anyway. Because, like, he knows all about this stuff. But, you know, the Pittsburgh stuff is going to get a little bit... Yeah, I, I'd be honest with you. I'd go with one of these Daytonas probably over at Pittsburgh. And the Pittsburghs are great. But, you know, you got to check the specs. What, what makes more sense. You want a low profile... You want a three ton, a four ton, but they did have, yeah, here it is. Here's a low profile, again, perfect for me. This would be great for me. Now, I got the Craftsman for like 30 bucks. Um, I gotta crack that open actually, but see, this is great because I can lift my mowers up also. So I like the low profile, you know what I'm saying? So I could do both. 74 there, oh, cool. You know, they're coming out with a lot of new prosumer tool lines. The stuff can be good. Just check country on the box for Taiwan. Yep, very true, Neil. Where's the 20% coupons at? I think you could even get them online, uh, Mr. Something Basics. Just go online and you can print them out, too. If you don't. I mean, but like I said, these are in a store. Just go where they are, you know, where your store has them. All right, here is the impact 
this this is a great price. Uh, you know, listen, I'm the first one to bust Bowers balls, so to speak. But let me tell you, 89 bucks for an impact wrench, 450 foot pounds, and it comes with the battery. No, separately. But yeah, I mean, not bad. We got to remember, guys. Now we we saw the Ryobi on sale. Okay, I think. It was $89 with a 4 amp hour battery at one time. I think right now it's 129 But that only does 200 foot-pounds. It has three speeds. It's a really solid impact wrench, you know, for light-duty stuff. But, you know, this one goes up to 450 So, this isn't bad. Again, I don't know too much about it. Maybe we'll pick one of these up and, and we'll, we'll uh, play around with it a little bit. And, you know... The thing with the Bowers, too, is, you know, when I had the impact driver, eh, it's not that it was so bad. It's just there's no reason to buy it. You know, the Milwaukee was 89 with a free LED light. The Bower was $79. No, no warranty for the Bower. A five-year warranty for the Milwaukee. I mean, can you afford the extra 10 bucks and get the light? But, we'll see. And they got some stuff coming out. Um, uh, the U.S. General here. This is a 44 by 22. I mean, I don't know. I, not that I, A lot of people have had some great success with, with the U.S. General stuff. Uh, we've talked about it before. But, I mean, the Husky, you can, I mean, you're probably going to spend less on a Husky than one of these. But, and again, I don't know if you can use the coupon on that. Obviously, this is a coupon, so you won't be able to use it on this. But, Struggleville. Hey, boss. Something like I made. Oh, cool, man. MB4 Wood. What's up, buddy? Oregon Gold Hunter. He's searching for the gold in Oregon. He's a real man. He loves. But, um. Let's take a look at the, uh. Yeah, so here they got the uh, the earthquake, and again, like the earthquake is kind of their uh, big top of the line. Wouldn't you say ninety four GT the earthquake power tool wise? Now they don't make drill drivers and impacts like Hercules, but with the impact wrench, just I think earthquake's the best impact wrench you're gonna get, and. Um, Again, uh, it's pretty it's pretty decent. You know, twelve hundred foot pounds. That's pretty good, man. Um, little lay. Oh, that's cool, man. I see. Yes, U.S. General box, and they're pretty good, man. Don't get me wrong. You know, at the when they're on sale at the right price, you know that's definitely worth considering. And right here is a uh, three eighths ratchet i was looking for this last time i was there very similar to the new milwaukee gen 2 not gen 2 the the, the uh, new brushless um ratchet 12 volt ratchet 60 foot pounds 119 you know i think the milwaukee kit is what 179 or 199 and in acme tools you can save 20 bucks right now so Again, you gotta, I don't know what the warranty is with the, uh, who makes this? Is this Earthquake? I think the Earthquake is the same. I think it's 90 days. Pat Clark might know too, 94 of those. What's the Earthquake warranty? Is it 90 days also? But, you know, to spend an extra 70 bucks, maybe. And I think with the Milwaukee, you get two batteries instead of one. You know what I'm saying? Unless you get two with this. I don't see it say two. High capacity. No, only one battery. So, you know, you got to see. You got to see. But, and again, I don't think you can use the 20% on this. And that's the thing with that, with the Milwaukee, too. You know, you go to Home Depot, you got a 10%. You go to Acme Tools, you got, you know, $20 off. All new Craftsman sold at Lowe's, yes. Hercules looks good. 
Yeah, they got it mitered. They got it. Yeah, I want to look at some of it. Well, let's just take a look. You know, the bare tools are priced pretty good. You know, they got an angle grinder for 40 bucks, a jigsaw. You know, priced pretty much like the Ryobi stuff. But then again, you know, and I'm. Listen, if you want to buy this stuff, that's perfect. No problem. But, you know, the Ryobi stuff is pretty much the same price. And again, I'm not saying one's better than the other because I haven't touched any of this stuff, but just looking warranty wise, um, you know, I would check out Ryobi first. <clears throat> but that's up to you. Look, they got a planer now. Wow, we. And a bandsaw. So this Bauer line has grown, not only in the corded aspect, but now with. They got a hammer drill, a drill driver. Here's the impact. Still 69 bucks. You know, that's a little steeper. Steep, steep. Because I think the Ryobi's like 49 bucks right now with a battery. So. And then here's your batteries. These batteries are more than the Cobalts. They want 40 bucks for a two. It's only, it, they're double the price of the Cobalts. So again, I don't know why anyone's buying this stuff when you can go to Lowe's and get the Cobalt. Batteries are half the price. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. And this Pittsburgh sock. These are great, great stuff, great price. Extension sets. These are the stuff you buy. A lot of the mechanics. The mechanics love the Harbor Freight. They got some good deals there for you, you know, with all the car stuff. We looked at the jacks. Jack it off. They got a Hercules bag for 10 bucks. Woozer solar panels. Ooh, woo. Look at this multi purpose. 80 bucks. Kelbo looked up the earthquake. Yeah, 90 days back clock. That's not, uh, that's terrible. I mean, like I said, you can buy a one-year warranty, I think, for, what, 15 bucks, And you can make it two years for 20 maybe. But, you know, now you're, you're, you're paying, you know, substantially more than Ryobi and Porter Cable and Cobalt. And you're at, like, the rigid price point almost, you know? And with the rigid, I mean, you're getting a lifetime warranty, man. A lifetime, even though it's a pain in the rear. You know, 99 bucks for this. I mean, the Pittsburgh stuff's good. But we looked at some DeWalt's now. 225 is a is a pretty big set. But I, I'm telling you, you can get that DeWalt. I think it's a 208 piece. Sometimes 79 bucks. Where's this Pittsburgh stuff made? Is it in Taiwan or is it China? I'm pretty sure it's China. But hey, Hambone, what's up? Delicious handbone, delicious. Now what? Working a big huh? screwdriver yet? Yeah, mine never broke. Another man. Yeah, listen. Not here to really bash it. It's just common, you know. That's all I ask you to do, is common sense. Weigh the pros and the cons. If the pros come out and this stuff's on top get it and this stuff's fine it works great I, you're not the only one who said this over the, the past couple of years the pittsburgh stuff especially is, is pretty good um you know for the price you pay you know what i'm saying and, you know it's made in china we all know that but you just have to it's getting dark Oof. you just gotta use your head man see this inverter they had it that when was on sale and I should have bought it. it was 369 bucks but I, I I just can't pull the trigger on one of them yet because I haven't had to use my generator since Sandy since Sandy let's see what Hercules stuff and I tell you I like I like the Pittsburgh ratchets and they still got you know those torque wrenches are 20 bucks man how are you gonna beat that that Again, no one comes close. There's stuff at Harbor Freight, and we talked about it. The the jacks, I mean, you know the um, the sockets, and you know the torque wrenches. I mean, you can't twenty dollar torque wrench, man. 
and it's pretty decent. But like I said, most of the stuff is the mechanics, the hand tools, and the stuff that the mechanics really like here. Where are the ratchets? See, these are some expensive. You don't want to pay that. Get the $14 ones. They got tents, portable sheds. And if you guys want me to show something here, Pittsburgh tool, yes. And Taiwan, okay. Pittsburgh, China. <laughs> 94. Lon Moore, Edward Graham. What's up, Lon? Stephen Graham, what's up, buddy? A Honda, DB8 Honda. We got DB8 Honda, we got Honda 97. One fish, no fish, rather get it 35. Yeah. I'm not too high in the tech and stuff, to be honest with you. I was pretty disappointed with their sockets, to be honest with you. All right, so here is, yeah, these are their new expensive torque wrenches right here. I guess made by Icon. But their Pittsburgh ones are right. Where are those Pittsburgh torque wrenches? Here we go, $19.99. And you can use the 20% on this. But yeah, you know, I don't know what this Icon stuff is, but I mean, this is pretty expensive. I mean, they're comparing this like to Matco and stuff. I mean, is the quality going to be like Matco? I don't know. I doubt it. But, but the Pittsburgh Ratchets, man, they're pretty solid too. I've heard some decent things about them. And Harbor Freight is, you know, a big company. They're everywhere. So, you know, a lot of these guys... You know, if they have issues, they, they break a ratchet, they crack a ratchet, you know, the, an, the anvil gets all messed up. They just go and exchange it for a brand new one. So I understand it makes sense as long as you have that warranty. But, you know, exactly, yep. Pittsburgh tools are made in Long Branch. Long Branch, New Jersey. Pittsburgh, you out of your mind, Steven? They'd be a lot more expensive if they were made in Jersey. You gotta pay a lot of money to these workers in Jersey. And here's the Doyle stuff. Again, there's some decent stuff about the Doyle stuff. It's Pittsburgh combinations. You know, look, yeah, it's a flex head, but what do we get that little Milwaukee set for? 26 bucks. It's hit or miss. Yeah, it is. Hey, for the price, you take a chance. And we understand it. Listen, the world would be a lot worse place without Harbor Freight. Okay? It'd be just not as fun. And it'd be kind of sad. But... And be very sad without you in here. I agree. Yes, you do. Smoking on something good. Just check the packages, guys. What, what did... What did what does not say there? EJM. EJM's been smoking something. A free nightclub pass. And so they George Gutierrez, what's up, buddy? Yeah, so that's really, you know, the Apache boxes, too. I heard some decent stuff about. If anybody wants to need to take a look at a certain section here, you know, again, it's the same stuff. I mean, I haven't done this since February, and it's really the same freaking stuff. I mean, from February. We're in June here. It'd be very sad, Steve. Very sad. But I tell you, there used to be a huge price difference, I've noticed, between Home Depot and Harbor Freight. I, I, I'm seeing it shrink a little bit. Now, I'm talking over the past five years, maybe. I mean, Harbor Freight used to be 
dirt cheap for a lot of stuff. I mean, dollar ninety nine. I remember some of these pliers were and stuff. Maybe two ninety nine. I don't know, and I could be wrong, but you know, not that far away from you know Home Depot and Lowe's now. It's it seems a little bit, a little. The gap is closed. And if some of this stuff doesn't come with a warranty, you know, it's equaling out pretty quick there. Right? Now what? Don't you agree a little bit? I mean, I'm not saying it's huge, but... Oh, thank you, Manuel. I love that. Edward, I love you. St. George smells like cancer in there. Boom, 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 boom. My girlfriend hates going to the freight. <laughs> Oh, you're lucky. I couldn't get her even in a Harbor Freight. My old lady. She don't, oh, yeah. Yeah, here's the general stuff. Again, pretty decent stuff, but... I mean, uh, it's, it's, you know... See, this is pretty good, but, I mean, one ninety nine. We looked at a little Craftsman one at Lowe's, and I think it's a little bit cheaper. Here's the third. You see, this is all right. One forty nine. I mean, they compare it to an eight hundred dollar snap on. But um, now this is nice too. For well, you got to combine them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is what it is, man. I mean, I would probably go in a different direction, to be honest with you. But the U.S. General, I think, you'd be fine with. They want respect. Yeah, they do. They're trying to, you know, with the, the Bauer and the Hercules and the Earthquake, and now they got the Icon, and, you know, they got some brands that I think they're trying. To, I don't know if they're going to ever be able to pull that off, though. I don't know how that's going to work. This Yukon, I've heard some pretty good things about. See, this is a good price right here. And I think this was $2.99 at one time. But I don't think you can use the coupon on this. Again, that coupon is good really for just the Pittsburgh stuff, I believe. Now, obviously, you can use it with other stuff too. But like some of the premium stuff, they don't let you use it on. I don't. You can't use it on Hercules. Not saying that that's premium. Bauer, I, I don't know. But you can't use it on the Bauer. The Yukon stuff, you can't. What's up, Parim? Parim, my brother. Seen a lot of Harbor Freight. Gen really? Yeah, I mean, it's a popular store. And again, a lot of people don't bargain. Like, they don't care. You know what I'm saying? Oh, a generator. Oh, it's a pretty good price. You know, if they can save maybe $60 somewhere else. Eh, I don't want to. I want it now. I want to get it now. I'm here. I want it. I'm using it next week. So, I mean, that's how a lot of people are. So they don't want to do the research. But again, these the generators are, are pretty solid too. I mean that that company's pretty pretty solid. Um what the hell are they called? Damn, what are they called? I mean, five gallon, you can get a no spill for like twenty four bucks. No, you know, a five gallon is like twenty seven. Twenty nine, twenty seven. On sale, Amazon, like 26. I mean, really good gas cans. But, yay, 20 bucks they see. All right, let's get it. Vanguard. Yeah, I actually have a couple Manuel on them. I have the Bosch I've done, the DeWalt's, the Ingersoll Rands, the Tectons. And here's some Vulcan welders. The Harbor Freight smell of packing grease. I have the four. Hitachi Roku Performance Group. All right. That's a cool name. What does he got? The four draw tool cart. Cabinet snap on it better. Oh, they are? Yeah. You know, you're going to have. Hey, Demon's Wifey, where you been, baby? You, you keeping Cupcake in line or what? Cupcake's been all over the place, Cupcake. Yep. And I, I love your Instagram. It's so much better than Cupcake's. No offense, Cupcake. I love you. You know that, but...
they still got this stuff going on here. Yeah, they're gonna try to get it with the DeWalt. I mean, this is they, 179. I mean, come on. $99 for a brushless drill driver right now at Amazon and Home Depot. 99 bucks. Two batteries. Here you get one. I mean, this is just complete. I'm so you know, I, we heard about the lawsuits that DeWalt did. I mean, this is this is terrible that they're allowed to get away with this. Completely terrible. And it's a crime. And I've had it with this freaking Harbor Freight. You freaking Harbor Freight sucks. That's bullshit. Get out of here.